Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late June 2022. If you've been following the news, you'll know that Russia has restarted its missile strikes on the capital of Ukraine at Kyiv. Why are they doing that? Well, they're doing that because they're struggling to get their aircraft over the country of Ukraine. So they're very good now, Ukraine, at keeping Russian planes from operating over the country. But what they don't have is a missile system that can stop Russian low-level terrain-following cruise missiles. And these are now landing in Kyiv. As of yesterday, June 27th, we had a commitment from US President Biden. We can see here on the war zone, which is my kind of go-to uh, information on the conflict. Biden has promised to send integrated NASAMS surface-to-air missiles to Ukraine. These are excellent for taking out cruise missiles. And this will hopefully stop the problem of cruise missiles hitting Kyiv and other towns and infrastructure. What is NASAMS? It was developed a couple of decades ago by the US and Norway. It's a very interesting site because it fires missiles that are actually already in service as air-to-air -air missiles. They're called AIM-120B and C AMRAMs. They're existing missiles reconfigured for surface-to-air tasking. Today we're going to simulate to see how effective these NASAMS will be at stopping existing Russian cruise missiles. We have an extremely simple setup. Here we have a city. It's not Kyiv, it's just a generic city and it's a target city. There are no people in it or anything to blow up apart from infrastructure and buildings. It's a drone city, if you will. 30 miles away is a Russian bomber, a Tu-160, a white swan. It is carrying 12 KH-65. These are long range, up to about a thousand miles, possibly even more, low level conventional warhead cruise missiles, the kind of thing that's been fired at Kyiv. The bomber will fly to about 20 miles, launch the missiles. The missiles will then attack 12 separate drone buildings in the middle of the city. It's obviously unrealistic that they would be firing this close in real life. In reality, they would fire hundreds of miles away over the Russian border, but we want to keep the video simple when it's just a test. First, we will run the test without NASAMs. Obviously, 12 missiles will hit their target, but we just want to show. Then we will start adding integrated NASAMs. We've got RC here today, who's going to be our cameraman and allow us to get cool shots of the missiles as they fly. Say hello, RC. Hello. There's our uh, white swan at 400 knots. Okay, wow, first missiles already. They are KH-65, they're pretty potent missiles. I mean, they're relatively old tech, but... Once they're dropped, they'll go towards the deck and they'll follow the terrain at probably about 150 feet. They're jet powered and they are subsonic. How many is it carrying? 12 in total. Okay, here he goes, he's off. Right, now we'll go in flying formation with the rearmost. Um, rearmost missile, please, if you can find it. There it is, yeah. right low. Right, 15 miles away. That's there as a cruise missile. I suppose they're pretty expensive, those missiles. I don't have a unit cost, but I can't see them being cheap. Okay, I'm going to do a progress check. Okay, they, they are... The city in front of us. 10 right? miles, yep. A few miles before the city, they will pop up and then dive down. They do this because it's the only way to get an accurate or, uh, you know, a hit on infrastructure. Otherwise, it would run into trees and run into buildings and stuff like that. And the pop-up is when they're most vulnerable as well higher they are the more vulnerable they are okay there they're popping up and see them now i'm going to start diving down on the city so this is when nasams i think should start firing okay here they go to attack their targets I should say these are all military targets military drone targets being attacked one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve buildings taken out. Uh, none of that surprising, obviously, but I just wanted to show you the control test. Now let's add an integrated NASAMS battery split into four. 
Each quarter has a command vehicle. This will link it to other parts of the battery. We also have a search radar. We also have the launchers. The launchers can either be AIM-120C or AIM-120B. We've used C here. C will be slightly longer range. B will be slightly more maneuverable. And they are at six cells, six missiles per launcher. As you can see, they are highly mobile. Each quarter of the battery will talk to one another and they will assign targets to each other within the battery. It's not quite the same thing as IADS that we've done before, Integrated Air Defense System, where different types of SAMs can communicate and talk to each other. This is really just one battery, so I'll just call it an integrated battery. <laughs> I'll see, how do you think the battery, I've tested it to make sure it works, but I've no idea if it can take down 12 cruise missiles. Uh, bearing in mind, we've got eight launchers here with six missiles each. That's a total of 48 missiles. How do you think we're going to do against 12 incoming uh, Russian cruise missiles? I think those missiles are going to get shot down. Stand by. Right, I will skip to when all the missiles are out. Okay, 12 missiles out and on their way. The range of NASAMs is going to be, I guess, between 5 to 10 miles, depending on target parameters. Approaching the range ring. I think I'm going to watch from a uh, NASAMs battery this time. No activity yet. We simply can't see the missiles because they're traveling low and the curvature of the earth and line of sight is just not possible. Let's see what the missiles are doing. They're cruising. They're cruising? Isn't that funny that? They do like cruising. The thing about cruise missiles is assuming they're not stealth, which they're not, they're relatively easy targets. They're relatively big and they're relatively slow. Four, five hundred knots. Okay, here we go. Nasam's out. And rams off. Two missiles out. Let's see what we can there you see? Oh, that might actually be after RC. There, you see them hitting? Blowing them all up. Blowing them all up. Let's look on the map. Well, it keeps missing the one I'm following. Yeah, there will be misses. It's PK, probability of kill, depending on various parameters. Yep, they're going to do... They've got one more. They've got one more. Oh, got it. Oh, I think we'll be oh, here. Oh, me. I apologise, RC. I apologise. There is no Dude. way I put you in there on purpose to get shot. I wouldn't do that. You know I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Am I an enemy? No, but um, it, it's proving a point. NASAMs, once the missile is fired, the missile goes active. At that point, the missile will lock onto what it sees in front of it. It's oh, kind of yeah. a weird way of working it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. It's a FOX-3, a fully active type missile. Right. So I was just showing there that it can easily lock onto a hostile. Um, uh, sorry, a friendly as well as a hostile. Anyway, the moral of the story as well as that is they shot them down easily, uh, which is great to see. What we're going to do now is double the amount of cruise missiles and see how they cope. Two bombers, 24 missiles, all fired together, time on target. Let's see how we do. And first missile's out. Okay, we are approaching max range. Remember, we've got four, four search radars here. So we should have plenty of coverage of this city. In formation with 24 missiles. Okay, I'm going to watch the northern battery again. Where are those missiles? There they are, I see them. Okay, AMRAM's out. Uh, you're going to have some fun here, RC. 48 AMRAM's coming your way. Needless to say, we can fire multiple AMRAM's on multiple targets at once. Two down. Three down, four down, five down, six down, seven down, eight down. Wow, look at RC's view. That's amazing. They're just all blowing up in front of us. There. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Wowee. That's cool, man. Well, they're diving in. Right. They may not get it. They may not get there. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've got a missile on me. Boosh! No. Yeah, we're out. Oh. And the, there's one more. There's one more left. Boom! Wowee! Okay. Like I said, we haven't practiced this before because I like to be surprised. But that battery has just destroyed 24 incoming missiles. Right, let's test this to breaking point, RC. Uh, I'm going hardcore. Out we go. Final test uh, is to test it to breaking point, obviously. We've tested. I mean, I'm really, really impressed. I've, like I said, we've not done this before. A battery there of 48 missiles with full search radar took out 24 
low altitude missiles. That's a brilliant PK. It just shows how awesome this missile system is. I'm really surprised by that. I would say better than a decent sized Patriot site. Patriots are huge, hugely expensive, hard to maintain. These are such smaller, easier to maintain, cheaper, better defense missiles for this type of thing than a Patriot. Short range, but for anti-missile, it's really, really top notch and really chuffed it's model well in game. Like I said, we're testing the failure now. We are now launching 48, 48 cruise missiles. So to take out this, they would have to hit, they would have to have a PK of 100% probability of kill, which is just not possible. It's just not possible in a, in a large uh, time on target attack like this. So they will get through, these missiles will get through, but how many can they take out? Also, Russia would never ever send 48 missiles in at once like this. They just never would do it. So, so far, things are looking really good for NASAMs in Ukraine. Jesus, oh. I th we almost clipped one. <laughs> we did. That would be embarrassing for you, I'll see. What's interesting is that every time it drops a uh, yes. cruise missile, the bomb bay doors try and close. Yeah, a bit weird and inefficient, I would say, but yeah. what do I know? <laughs> Look at that, 48 SOBs. Wowee, nothing in the world is stopping this. Nothing, it's maybe S400, maybe S400. Oh, geez, they're going up already. Right, no, they're not. Again, S400 is really expensive. We're talking billions, over well over a billion, I think, for S400. So, you know, you're talking big money. But these are much smaller, much cheaper. Right, uh, and you're using existing technology. So development costs are so much lower. Entering range ring, I'm gonna watch here. Right, you're gonna get a shock now, I see, or someone's gonna get a shock. They might not yeah. even shoot you down this time because there is so much for them to shoot at. Okay, we're aiming. You're gonna get yeah, a show. Plastic. Okay, off they come. Missiles active. Uh, these type of missiles have their own radar on board, valid viewers. Their own radar on board is how they work. It's one of the reasons why they're so good. I can't really see what's going on, so you just have to... Oh, there they are! It's interesting. Can... One I'm with didn't laugh. <laughs> they are just exploding all around us. Yeah, some of them don't laugh, don't know why. They've all got their own individual yeah, path they'll fly. Oh, I've got a missile on me. You've got a missile on you, I see. Well, that's most of them. Wow, they've done really, you know, they've done not too bad. Okay, I'll just watch from here so we can get a more analytical view. Rear battery's firing. I'm going to have to pause it. Oh, they're going to hit. I'm going to pause it oh, now, now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They've taken more, more than 50% down already, and we're not finished yet. And pause it in 3, 2, 1, go. Still, they're getting taken out. To see a SAM site with a PK like that is really impressive. Okay, one building, two, three, no, one, two, three, four. Actually, I don't know how many made it through. Somewhere between, I'd say, about 10 and about 17 would be my guess, which is well over 50%, uh, which is just really impressive. And like I said, Russia would never launch 48 missiles on one target. Just, you know, couldn't afford it. So, NASAMs. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> you got hit? Well, you, I always said you get what you deserve, right, I see. Watch but. it, I see. I need you to stop thinking about yourself for a minute and think about the valued viewers. Uh, how do you feel about NASAMs performance there, even though you got shot? Um, I mean, it was pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. Just there weren't just weren't enough. Right. Uh, so I'm chuffed with NASAMs. We can start using it in defense of Ukrainian stuff. I think they're going to be a really good anti-cruise missile. Are they anti-ballistic missile? I don't think so. I think they're anti-cruise missile. It's what they're really good at. Anti-aircraft as well. So chuff with that. Let me know your thoughts and how effective they're going to be in the theater and we'll see you later. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.